everyone, it's Deb back again and I've got another project using the September Kidholic Kits. It's a 9x12 layout. Now I've got the footage slowed down here because I wanted to use these um, circle frames with the pom-pom trim. So I grab my thin dies. I've got, um, I'm sure it might be my favourite things. Um, circle dies there and I just traced them out onto some paper just to kind of get the design idea of what I wanted and the sizes that I um, also needed for the layout and I'm just going to go through the pattern paper and um, die cut all these circles out so I did use the floral the chevron um, that light pink chevron one um, I did use the wood grain packaging, um, what else did I use, the, oh, the, the vellum, I did because I cut two of each um, pattern um, from the circles, the smaller circle is actually punched with my punch um, and then I did with the vellum I layered that on top of the wood grain um, packaging which you can see I'm cutting out now, it's such a a uh, beautiful uh, wood grain uh, pattern there. So this is my punch and I'm just going to punch my two small pieces from that and also the vellum to layer on top of that wood grain or wood veneer look. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just it's very pretty um, and this is for the bigger wood grain piece. Just run that through the die cut. If you have haven't got a manual die cut, you could um, always just trace around something, or if you got a um, cameo or a cricket, um, you could cut them out that way too. So, um, just trim my photos to fit under these frames. Now, I was planning a project life spread, and I ran out of printer ink, so I had these two photos um, in my little photo box. Um, to be scrapped and when I couldn't do my project life I grabbed these two photos and decided to put them in these frames so um, I'm just fussing around with a placement and then I am going to get my sewing machine out and stitch around all them little circles so <laughs> had a bit of trouble with this I've, it's this sewing machine, it's very old, I paid a couple of bucks for it at the markets and it's temperamental. Um, but what you want to do is just make sure you keep moving the circle around so you don't get that kind of squarish look. Um, I didn't get a perfect circle with my stitching and that's all good, that's why I went, went around twice so it looks a bit messy. The smallest circle was the hardest one because I've got big fingers and just trying to keep turning that small piece of paper in the sewing machine. Here we go, that's it there. <laughs> um, trying to get my fingers to turn it without putting it near the needle. It was um, a little bit of a mission. So I'm going to glue my photos to the back of these frames and they, they're so pretty these frames. I'm so happy that I got to got to use them. I, I've only got one left so if I use that I'm going to be very very happy um, and it's the black one. So yep still gluing the photos. They're not perfect circles underneath but no one will see that and I did take a photo before I um, started stitching all them circles just because I knew I um, would forget what, what I had where. <laughs> so I'm just referring back to the photo and I'm just going to lightly um, lightly ad adhere these circles down because I wasn't sure whether I was going to tuck things under or move them. So yeah, just a tiny bit of my um, uh, glue tape there. Okay, so I, did, I went through all the um, exclusive um, uh, ephemera 
or die cuts and pulled some pieces out that I thought might work with the layout. The, the original idea of just having the circles going down the middle of the page, that was all I had in mind. I didn't know where else I wanted to go, so I, I did pull out um, quite a few things and I only used a few bits and pieces here and there. I did grab the thickers and I'm pretty sure they were the ones from the pocket page kit and I am just going to spell out my girls um, here. I I don't know why but I rarely use thickers on a layout. I um, was quite proud of myself that I um, use these to make a title. Um, so I've got, and I also got those two exclusive um, butterflies on there and I do fuss about with that um, quite a bit but they don't end up um, staying on the page. Um, because I brought in that little captured uh, little die cut, the exclusive one, it, it had that um, corally pinky red colour. So I did pull some stickers from the sticker sheet, um, the other heart up um, on the chevron piece there, that's from the exclusive, and just pulling in some gold sparkly hearts at the moment and finishing up my title. Just trying to get it as straight as I can. <laughs> and I didn't like the way the S was hanging off that circle, so I I did move the letters over over a bit. Sorry, the kookaburras are going crazy here. Um, yeah, just moved all my letters over a bit. It still hangs off the um, circle a little bit, but I like it a bit better that way. So um, we got these gorgeous gold... Um, stickers clear stickers um and so i pulled the the leaf kind of branchy bits off and stuck one up the top and the bottom and what else did i put on there did i bring some more oh no i'm going to glue my other little bits down now And I do come in with some of those puffy little sticker hearts to add um, just another little bit of texture to the layout. So I'm liking the way this is looking, but I felt like it needed a border. And I didn't want to um, bring any kind of... Um, dark border with a black pen or anything so I decided to stitch a border and I also stitched through my title to make sure them thickers weren't going anywhere and I did remove some of the circles off the layout to um, do that and oh my god I was trying to find the top circle I looked everywhere I pulled my sewing machine back out I thought it might have been stuck to the bottom of that I was ripping things apart I, I couldn't find it anywhere and in the end it was stuck to the um stuck to my sleeve under my arm <laughs> oh, I was getting so frustrated um, so just sticking them back down and I'm going to um, splatter some gold uh, gold Heidi swap color shine and that will be my layout so I hope you guys enjoyed um, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and um, there will be some stores coming I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.